Hello everyone, it's Michael Lazar here, and today we're going to work on the Let My Prayer in Tome 3. So let my prayer be, uh, be set forth before the Isaiah descends. In third month. So we just sang the Lord I've Cried, so now we sing this. Oh, and I don't want to hear the name. Oh, sorry. Alright. So the Pikimo. Na, na. <clears throat> so we're going to do part of the first and then mellows. Vike di va bu va bu va, vike di ke ke, di va bu va di ke, ke zo zo ke di ke di ga ga bu bu ba, ke ni zo ke ke di ga di ke zo ke, then ke ke zo ke di ke. Zoni zoni pani zo ke di ke ke zo ke di ga di di ga di ke ke di ga bu ga bu ga. There we go. Now this one is not as difficult as that. Uh, this one, uh, Lord, I've cried, and this one's actually a pretty difficult. This one's a lot more manageable. Di ga. Let my prayer be set forth. Now, a appropriate interpretation. Be set forth. So, one way a lot of people like to do it. Let my prayer be set forth. Instead of set forth. But you can do as you want. As in sense before thee, sense, sense, sense be, because this is a one third, two fourths, one third, two thirds on sense, sense be for thee, the lifting up of my hands as an evening sacrifice sacrifice hearken unto me O Lord and that's the end of it um, again, we have the ajum here because the vo is natural, not flat. When the ajum is on ra, the vo is natural. When the ajum is on vo, the vo is flat. Interesting concept. You just have to make sure. And likewise, when the ajum is on, let me just make sure I have this right. When the ajum is on zo, the zo is flat. When the ajum is on ni, the zo is natural. Because it's the same tetrachord as one. So, I hope you found the video helpful. If you did, I would appreciate if you liked and subscribed. Um, other than that, I hope you have a great day. And I'll see you on the next one.